Afternoon all. This is the Thrunite TN4A LED torch in cool white. So let's do a very quick unboxing. Here's the torch in its black pouch. And then what else is in the box? Uh, we have some spare O-rings and a switch seal and a carry strap. So let's have a look at the torch. It's a single LED torch, which takes four AA nickel metal hydride rechargeable cells. So let's unscrew the body and take a look at the insides. That's the head. Here's the cell carrier. I've got some of my colorful inner loops in there. And then this is just uh, basically a cup. And that's about as far as the thing comes apart. But I have noticed these three screws here. And so for this review, I also want to try and take this torch head thing apart and see what we can see inside there. So let's quickly go through the user interface. If you press and hold the button, it comes on in Firefly mode. That's the uh, very low brightness mode. Switch off. If I just switch on normally, it comes on uh, in whatever that is. Let's have a look. Holding that down now, it goes through the three brightness levels, low, medium and high. If I now double click, it goes into turbo and strobe alert. If I double click again, it goes into strobe mode. Now when the torch is switched on, the button here has a little blue light behind it. And apparently when the uh, batteries get low, that changes to a red light. So let's have a look at the uh, specifications. The LED is a Cree XPL V6 LED. The torch runs on four AA cells. Now they're saying here 2450 milliamp hours, but you can put in whatever you want. I guess if you put in less than that, then these run times will be lower. The working voltage is anywhere from 2.75 to 8 volts. And the output modes and run times are strobe 1150 lumens for 150 minutes, uh, turbo 1150 lumens for 56 minutes, high 550 lumens, 150 minutes, uh, medium 139 lumens, 14 hours, low 15 lumens for 93 hours, and the moonlight mode or the firefly mode, uh, 0.5 lumens for 80 days. Now I find the specification for beam distance quite interesting because it says here 326 meters, but I can't imagine that the light photons just suddenly stop moving after 326 meters. So it is a rather peculiar uh, parameter there. Um, impact resistance two meters, that's if you drop it, and waterproof to IPX8, 1.5 meters underwater. Now, as I say, I want to try and take this torch apart. And uh, as I say, there are three screws here in the head. Uh, they look like normal Phillips screws. So let's put a screwdriver to those and see what comes out. So behind this uh, plate here, we've got um, this circuit board. Now there are three, what look like they're probably MOSFETs here. They might even be in parallel. There's a little uh, SOT23 five pin device here. I might look that up later on. And on the underside of that, there are two high current wires going into the LED and also this little ribbon cable. And here I can see a chip there. I'll try and get the number uh, from that in a moment. And there's some sort of inductor there. So presumably part of the uh, switch mode circuitry. Well, now that's interesting. The uh, chip on the back of the board there is actually a PIC microcontroller. It's a PIC 16F684. Now that's... Um, relatively old microcontroller. I've worked with the 12F683. It's got uh, A to D and uh, PWM and capture and compare and stuff like that. And uh, now I've managed to get the front ring off and the glass with various seals on there and the orange peel reflector, which is actually a piece of solid aluminium, which has been milled down. You can just see the milling marks on there. Not sure how that orange peel coating has been applied. And then inside the head, the Cree LED on its board is screwed down onto part of this uh, milled out housing. And directly on the opposite side, uh, just try and get my camera to focus in there. You can see the back of the screws there that's holding the LED on. 
so the two wires from the LED, or is it three wires, uh, come onto this board, and then this four-way ribbon cable is actually running down to the switch and LED down there. And in fact, uh, you can see quite clearly that there are three wires running to the LED. We've got uh, LED minus, LED plus, and also RT. Now I'm just wondering if that little device near where it says RT is a thermistor, and it's actually a third wire for measuring temperature of the uh, metal plate so that it can go into or switch out of boost mode. Because I seem to remember in the manual that if, uh, if it gets too hot, it will actually lower the brightness. Let's just check that. Yeah, so that's what makes this ITC technology thing work. The light will automatically lower the current when temperature in LED or driver rises to 80 degrees centigrade to protect the flashlight from overheating, thus to extend its lifespan. Now I can just uh, make out that there is some thermal paste between the LED on the other side of this extrusion or this milled out housing and the housing itself so that's properly thermally bonded onto the uh, metal of the torch. And uh, I find it rather intriguing that there is that familiar chip, familiar to me, the PIC 16F684. And in fact, I have one of those right here. So here it is, the uh, 16F684 sitting next to uh, a 12F683 and a 12F675. So uh, yeah, what's the date on that? 0402, so I've had that one for ooh, quite a few years. So let's put this thing uh, back together, align these screw holes, and uh, see if I can get this torch back in one piece. So that's back together again. Um, the TN4A has a very similar form factor to the Mini TN30, which I reviewed a little while ago. The user interface is identical uh, from what I can see based on this single button. So that's it, that's the through night uh, TN. 4A, 1150 lumens, LED torch.